Mr. Ross Knight tonight here. It's going to be episode number 50 of the random Pirate. For today's episode, we're going to be using none other than Ryan Mason. Now, unfortunately, Ryan Mason has had to retire from football from a head injury. Um, this happened a couple of days ago. Now, I'm letting this video kind of come out a few days after, just because I want to. I don't want to be accused of kind of like jumping on the bandwagon. I want to do this video out of respect more than um, to get views, if that makes sense. I know this isn't going to get me mega views. I don't want that. I want to do this out of respect for a footballer who's unfortunately had to retire at the age of, I believe, 26 because of an, a head injury, which is just a massive shame. He was a really good player as well. Uh, he's over Tottenham, of course. He ended up moving to Hull. Uh, the injury happened actually January 2017, I believe. Um, Cahill basically smacked into the side of his head uh, accidentally no no you know bad feelings towards Cahill and he it's, it was a football match it's a heated football game he came in like that and he fractured his skull really badly now not too sure on a scale of kind of like there to like where about like Peter Cech is and stuff like that I'm not too sure exactly where it stands but it's a pretty bad one it's had to retire him from football like I said so out of respect we're doing an episode 50th episode around him today so hope you guys can smash the like button and uh, let me know in the comment section below uh, what you make of the fact that he's had to retire now uh, we, we're not doing the green screen for today's episode. A little bit of glitchiness in the last one. I need to try and sort out. Basically, my room's kind of small. And um, with the big lighting I've got, I'll show you one of the lights right here. It's gonna be literally right here. Look. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's it's a big, chunky mother. Look at the size of that. I mean, my face is up against it. That is a big light. And um, I've got two of them, basically. And they're just extremely close to me at the moment, which is affecting kind of like the green screen and all that good stuff so hopefully in the coming days i'll be able to sort out where i need them to go uh, as you can see they this is actually struggling to move there we go got it out of the way basically i need to sort out where they need to go to get the best out of the green screen to make it not lag and glitchiness so much but it's a different setup to usual i'm in my rocking chair as you can see it's a lazy boy rocking chair it's actually really comfortable as well you don't need the gaming chair guys but here we go we're gonna get into the episode like a smash light burn it's gonna be an all gold episode today hopefully and ryan mason is in the team. So we're going to go for a defender and a striker. Page one, player one, because we're ballers. Here it comes. Ooh, Inform Kulubali. Now, this is an interesting one. I do have his Footmas card, which I think is the same rating. If not, then we'll go ahead and buy Inform Kulubali. <coughs> Probably just still got my cough, by the way. I don't know about you guys, but I've had this illness for literally the whole of 2018 so far. A chesty kind of cough, which doesn't seem to go away. It leaves me kind of breathless quite a lot. Um, but anyway, page one, player one for striker. Boom! Really, sand? Sand. Well, you've royally fisted us, haven't you? 43 page striker. Guys, we've been shafted. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. I mean, look at every other player on that page. would have would have been better. Every single one of them would have been better. Even a nine gullin would probably be up better up front. But your boy Sand is in the team. So we're going to go over to the squad screen. I'm going to work on magic, hopefully. I'll see okay, you in two. So over the squad screen and let's put in the players we need. So Ryan Mason is our first featured player. There he is. Have a little look at him. So let's have a look at his stats then. He's a gold card, which tells you the story. Um, I had to pay 2.3k for him. He was getting, obviously price fix because of the fact that he'd probably be taken out of packs if he's retired. Um, but he's not a bad card on here or any any stretch of the imagination. 62 strengths, not great, but it's not bad. He's a solid kind of low rated gold kind of player. But he's remember he's a championship player as well, which is kind of um, interesting. We can see what we can do with that. The next player of course was Sand. Jose Sand, I think it was. Oh, which one did I get? I can't even remember. It was the one in that league, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it was that one. If I'm wrong, I do apologise. I think it was that one. Let me know in the comment section below if I'm wrong. I'll see it myself in the editing. And then Kulu Bali was the next one, of course. Kulu Bali, concept players. So it's 86 in form. Or his 86 Footmas card. As you can see, they're relatively similar. Since I already have the Footmas card, we may as well use that one instead of going out and forking out about 50k, 60k to get his in form, whatever he costs. So, this is the three players we've got. Interesting times. Um, again, not sure. I think I want to go for a two-man strike force with this striker I've got. Because I'm not going to lie, he doesn't look great. Um, at the same time, maybe wingers will benefit him. 
not 100% sure with this one, to be honest. By the way, my screen's over there. So if I do look over there quite a lot, I do apologize. My camera's up there. Screen's over there. So that's the reasoning behind why I'm looking over there. Um, what formation shall we rock today, guys? So let me try to think a minute. Mason, of course, being a championship player. Hmm. What if, what's the championship got in the in the shape of like? I put Mason there a second. What foot's Mason? Mason is right foot, so probably benefit him over that side. Shooting wise, maybe not passing wise. Koulibaly will whack over there for a split second. Um, right. So there, this is where shit gets real. So, we need kind of like an Argentine left winger, is what we need. Maybe from the Argentine league, or whatever league that was. Um, we'll see what there is. So, Piate wouldn't really do us any good. Acosta is a perfect chemistry link and a very nice player. Very nice strength is shambolical, but you've also got Centurion, who's a good player. Uh, a lot of pace going on here. Um... I think we may have to go for the perfect chemistry guy. We may have to, because he's decent as well, Acosta. Very, very good player. I think now that basically means he's going to get full chemistry no matter what, obviously, if we change into a left forward. But he's Ryan Mason and this guy we can have a little more fun with. So if I put Mason there, may have to go for David Myler just to, just to interest things up here. But let's have a little look what the championship have got rocking. Maybe we can go and breach ourselves over into something else. Unbelievable. Uh, I mean, the reason I say unbelievable, he links with, he links with Koulibaly. He's the best centre mid, technically, rating-wise, in the league. And he links with Koulibaly. Absolutely. God, you just have to take that. When that kind of opportunity comes up, you can he say no. Okay. Now, in, is it Senegal? Yeah, it's Senegal. So we need a Senegalese right back, as things stand. And, um, not going to lie, I cannot think of one off the top of my head. But there's probably one in the game. Um, <coughs> Jesus, so, so, he used to be good, didn't he? Is he the guy who used to play for Liverpool? No. Definitely some kind of relation. Was it Liverpool? Whoever it was in the Premier League. Definitely looked exactly like that. So I don't think that's him, but I think he looked exactly like that. Um, right, right forward is where things get interesting. So we're going to go for a championship player again. Now, unbelievably, I'm probably not going to use a Leeds player, even though they're my team. As you can see, and so what? I, I kind of have a choice of Birmingham, Hull, or English, or Senegalese. That is basically my choice. Who's Harrison? Is that that guy who's just left at Manchester City and gone on loan to Middlesbrough? I believe so. Barkhouse has got 93 pace. Unbelievable. Leco has also got some good pace on him. Um, right mid, it's probably going to go down the English route, I'd imagine. We'll probably benefit us some more. But at the same time, there's not really anybody who's tickling my bow so far. Oh, Roof. Oh, no. Roof in form is a left winger. Shit. What a bloody shame. What a bloody shame. Can we somehow do it? Damn. Costa would then have to be dropped. You can't, you can't. We've got to try and get Roof in the team. Now I've seen as possible, we've got to try and get Kamara Roof in the team. So Roof over on the left-hand side here. Kimar Concepts. Probably got him in the club. So, yeah, there he is. Left winger. He's getting full chemistry. Ryan Mason does still need some loving. We also need some greatness for this guy. So, what we do need is... Is there any Senegalese left-backs now? Now this has come into a fray, Senegalese may be better off with the left packs anyway. This could actually benefit us both ways. Um, well, they definitely have better left backs than the other one. Kelsey or A. That kind of gives us a connection to Koulibaly, which would be nice. He is probably looking likely to be one of the better ones as well. We're going to try and get this. We've got him as well. We may as well use and abuse him. Right, so now this is the interesting part. We need... <coughs> Apologies again, my cough. I can't control it. We need an Amer uh, no, Argentine league's right winger. See, that's the team he plays for. Well, that's not the same country. Shite. That's so annoying. That is so annoying. There's a guy called Tepez, unbelievably. Um, 
So what team is that? Because we can kind of maybe link off into the championship. This guy's turd! Lannis. Lannis. Do it. Do the dirty. Give me somebody good. Lannis. I mean, he's a good right winger from you, friends. So it's him. This is not good. Have they got a right mid? Unbelievable they do. This guy gets perfect M. He's not terrible. He's nowhere near as good as Costa was. We may have to use him. But let me just check. Is there any Argentine um, championship players? Because then we can maybe, maybe breach off. But, again, we may go too many championship players. Doesn't look likely. Doesn't look like it is a thing. We'll, we'll triple check. Any position. There's no Argentine championship players. Pretty crazy. Now I've got hiccups to add to my list of things. Christ. Right. England. Concepts. Let's go for centre mid from England. We're going to have to go with that guy, by the way. We're going to have to go with that right mid. When we convert it to right forward, he will get full chemistry. Um, Mason will get full chemistry of an English player. So, it's looking likely we're going to have to head into the Premier League. Or we could use Barry and go League 2 and just make it absolutely loony bin. But, why do that when you can, you know... Is there any way you can breach out into another country? Is there like an English centre mid in America or something crazy? For sure, new Leeds guy. Um, but we don't really want to go down another championship player. May have to go into the Premier League, which is a shame because, like I said, it would have been nice to have maybe gone in like the MLS. Let me just check. I swear there was an MLS in this guy. Oh, there is. Not good. They're not good at all. But they're MLS. Holy crud. Um, no, we're probably going to go Premier League. We're probably going to make this team stronger. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and use Lalana purely because I like him a lot. We're then going to go ahead and use an English right back from the Premier League. Probably not Kenny, but good shout. Nice of you to, you know, chirp up there. Um, we're probably going to go for Carl Walker. Not his one to watch, probably his regular card. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So, Lalana needs a half link. Kulubali needs a half link. And then the goalkeeper needs anything going. So, Premier League centre-backs. Is there any Senegal ones? No. Hmm. So what do I need? Either a Man City, so it could do Otamendi, and then maybe an Argentine goalkeeper in the Serie A. Possibly a thing. Maybe, maybe not. Or we could do the English rule. Um, oh, Van Dyke. Oh, okay. So he doesn't really help us, does he? Um, so I wouldn't mind using Van Dyke's Liverpool one to watch card, because I have got that packed. I know it's the same as a regular card, but like I said, like, there's the one to watch. Is there a Dutch goalkeeper? Well, basically, is there a goalkeeper who links them to? So either a Senegalese goalkeeper in the Premier League or a Dutch one in the Calcio A. So no to that. So that's a little bit annoying. So now let's go for a Netherlands in Syria. I don't think there is. No, what a damn shame. What a damn shame. Let me just see what Calcio A goalkeepers there are a second who may, we could breach off into a... Or defender basically so none of them really work for us um, Argentine was another one we could have done there is but he's not great we could have gone for Otamendi basically um, Christ I would have thought there was better ones than this this is actually a little bit disappointing if I go for it I'm trying to think of what I could go for for Italian obviously Spanish we could actually he gets full chemistry we, could divide. we don't need that to be the case we just need it to be a uh, half length. So we could do Brazilian, and then I suppose we could do. So we could ch we could change the right back. Um, Brazilian. I want to use this guy because he's the guy who scored the goal, isn't he? Italian. I knew I had. I want to try and use that guy if I can. It's got a little bit crazy. Apologies for taking so long. Um, so I want an Italian centre back in the Premier League. Now there is one. I know there is. Og Bonner. Um, is anybody else? No, it's literally just Og Bonner. So if I had Og Bonner, I would then need this to be. 
He West... Oh, God. West Ham right back, he was English. Sam Byram used to play for Leeds. Unreal. Um... <coughs> or... Wait a second. Zappa Costa is also a player I could do. Italian right back in the Premier League. Zappa Costa. So if I went for Zappa Costa, I know that means we don't have to use Lallana. We'd have to use an... Either a West Ham or Chelsea English Premier League centre mid. So Danny Drinkwater could get a play. Oh Christ. Danny Drinkwater. Who's West? Mark Noble. We could do. Let's have a little West Ham. What else have they got? It's literally just Mark Noble. Have they not got anybody else? English. Antonio converted down. Maybe. Mark Noble, like I said. Um, Jordan Hugel. Reese Oxford. Ugh. We're getting down into the real bad ones now. Zuzu the one. Chelsea. Who else they got is English? Oh, Ross Barkley we could use in centre mid. Yeah, let's use Ross Barkley. We'll use Ross, little boy Barkley, and that is the team. It's took us a long while. That's a pretty cool team, in my opinion. It's got, I mean, the striker's bad. And I don't think we're going to score a single goal, if I'm honest, because Roof's not bad. I could probably do some damage with Roof. This guy's 43 pace. Which just seems terrible. At least he's got a good shot on him. I have to try and smack him from range. And then this guy, 81 pace. Obviously, I would have preferred it the other side with uh, when we had a Costa that time. But when, you have to get a Leeds player in there every once in a while because I'm a Leeds fan, of course. But that is going to be the team. We're going to borrow the players now. We're back in two seconds when I bought them. And I'll see you then. Boom! So here's the finished team. And as you can see, it actually looks all right, to be fair. Apart from the strike force, like I said, I'm a little bit unsure I should say about that one guess how much this guy cost me 8,200 coins for 43 pace it's almost a coin a pace not quite but you know what I mean that guy's still poking his head out look I find that funny every single time I see that I'm almost, I'm almost tempted to change him that guy's now looking like into my soul so we'll change it back anyway that is a team I'm, I'm looking forward to this one a little bit purely because i quite like that midfield we've got a guy who's got 90 physical in-game strength of 94 and also looks like he can pass the ball 73 six foot four looks like an all-round tank ryan mason in the middle is going to do some damage i may switch them over there in game because I want the beastie center mid in the middle and then um, Ross Barkley of course on this side here always a fun card to use five star week for a Chelsea version of him of course now he has got one to watch card kind of pointless buying that because he hasn't actually got an upgrade yet uh, they've just been a waste of coins really now the right winger not too great at all but We'll give him a go. He links with a striker. And let's face it, we wanted to kill that chemistry when we could. So let's have a look at what leagues we've got in here then. So we've got the Italian League, the Premier League, the Championship, and the Argentine League. Linking together into a pretty nice hybrid. Pochettino is our manager. We can't lose, can we? I'll go find myself an opponent, smash a light burn, and we'll win. So if you don't smash a light burn, I'll lose. So please, help. Help me out. Like button. Thank you very much. Let's go find ourselves an opponent. I'll see you in two. Okay, so we found ourselves our opponent, and he has got... He's got himself that team right there is what he's got. It's a gold team. 85 chemistry, 77. Really cool looking manager with the glasses. James Milner left back. Not a great deal of pace in that squad by the looks of it, which may come into play for us. Of course, with our 43 pace striker. Can he take on Jackie Elker and co? You'll find out. Let's go. Roofy boy. Over it goes. Mason on the ball. He's going all the way. Ref. Still got it, Mason. Gets it back. Mason, early doors! Yes! Ryan Mason scores! Two minutes on the clock. Get over to the camera, son. Get in. Looks just like him as well. Fair play to him. Ryan Mason. Cracking little finish there. That's actually a really, really nice goal. Made him captain as well, of course. Oh, it's terrible news, isn't it? That he's had to retire, but... We're doing business on the game for him. Great finish. Look at this again. Right into the... Well, back of the net. Not really top corner. But we'll take it. 1-0. Ryan Mason. Mason again picking up the ball in midfield. Over it goes to San. San playing it through to this guy. Great piece of play from this guy. And it, oh, what a ball that is. This is great play. And it goes to Zappa Costa. You can hit them. Zappa Costa. It's followed to Mason. He's got another word. Ryan Mason scores again. Get in. Can you hear me, son? Oh, he's rage quit. 
He's rage quit! Let's find ourselves another game! Unfortunately, guys, we won't actually manage to find another game. I think everyone's playing Foot Champs or something. Well, obviously, not, it's not Foot Champs, but I don't know what's happening. I can't find a game to save my life, and I'm running out of time in the day, unfortunately, to do this video. But we managed to score twice with Ryan Mason in about 10 minutes of game time, which I think is fantastic. Great finish from him for the first goal. Scruffy goal for the second one, but just want to say... It's really, really sad news to hear of any footballer retiring, especially when it's somebody who genuinely have really good potential. Um, obviously started out at Tottenham, like we said, and I always thought he was going to come and be a very, very good player for England in the coming years. It's obviously horrible news to hear. Ho I hope, in all honesty, he goes on to further his outside of football career maybe we'll go into punditry maybe he'll go into sky sports kind of thing or something like that hopefully all the best for him and it's kind of it's just a massive shame that any player has to retire but especially somebody uh, almost like he was in the premier league when that he re he never played since then has he because obviously Hull got relegated and are struggling at the moment currently but that's not his fault of course but it's just a massive shame so i just want to say it's probably gonna be the last time i use this card i'm gonna leave it in my club i'll never sell it Thank you for the memories. Thank you for the good times, Ryan Mason. And hopefully, like I said before, you won't be watching this video, so I'm not saying it to him, but you guys, smash a like button for him. Happy retirement. Enjoy. And God bless. Thank you very much. I'll catch you next time. I'll see you in the next video, guys. And bye-bye. Uh, Boo!